All right, guys, Sunday morning, I'm going to do myself a big cook. I ran out of food. Got my 60-quart pan here. 60 quart, it's got a big bottom on it, so I can really, I can really give it the how you're doing. Let's see what I got going on here. I cook these big meals like this, and then I freeze all the stuff, so I got meals for a while. Probably have, uh, well, 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 well Miss Molly. Yo, uh, good morning, Miss Molly. You want some of Daddy's cooking? You love my cooking, I know you do. Yeah, you love Daddy's cooking. Anyway, what we got going on here is I had a four-pound um, corned beef that I cooked up in the crock pot the other day. I cooked it because it takes a long time to cook that corned beef, so that's already pre-cooked, the corned beef. And I got a couple of these pork loins, boneless pork loins. That's five pounds. That's five pounds. I'm going to cook, throw that in the bottom of the pan, cook that up. I got a couple of things of sausage and uh, some charisse. It's like a Portuguese sausage. Got some marinara sauce to thicken it up with. I also got a whole bunch of beef broth here. So, and I got some uh, rice peel off. I want to throw that in there. Some baby carrots. Some. Red cabbage, a bunch of green beans, mushrooms. I got a couple of things of broccoli rob here. It's a broccoli rabbi, they call it. It's kind of like an Italian dish. I got a couple of things of that I'm going to throw in there. A couple of green peppers, a couple of onions, red potatoes. I got a bunch of um, cauliflower and celery, and then I got a bunch of broccoli over there. That's all going to get chopped up and thrown in the pot. And I got a couple of things of sweet petite, diced tomatoes, and I got four things of white hominy. I like that white hominy, and, you know, garlic and hot peppers, but that's going to be the cook for today. Oh, man, it's going to be next level. Oh, yeah, Miss Molly. Miss Molly, it's going to be next level, Miss Molly. Yeah, you love Daddy's cooking. Smell the goodness. Smell the goodness. Oh, yeah, you love my cooking. I know you do. All right, so we'll probably get the meat in there first, get that going. And then I'll start prepping up all the rest of the stuff. So I got plenty of beef broth. I got this marinara to thicken it up. And, uh, well, yeah. Stay tuned. Alright guys, I got all the stuff prepped. A lot of work here. So I cleaned all the, the tenderloins. Got them, rinsed them all off good. And I got the charise, which is like a Portuguese sausage, which I like. And then I got the um, Italian sausage in the back all cut up in pieces. I got here is the green beans. Broccoli, cauliflower. Red potatoes. And uh, hominy corn. And over here I got the um, the corned beef. I'm going to throw the beef in first, get that cooking for a while. And then I'll start throwing the other stuff in. Over here what I got is I cut the mushrooms up. I got some a couple of onions. Green peppers. Celery and carrots. You'll see when all that stuff goes in. I don't have a lot of room here. And then I got the um, broccoli, the, the broccoli rob. Just kind of like broccoli, but it's got a kind of a bit of taste to it. It's like an Italian dish. And then I got red cabbage. Got all this garlic and hot sauce. Hot. Got all this garlic and uh, hot peppers. Yeehaw, it's going to be kicked up. And then I got a couple of things. Teat, tomatoes. And then I got, uh, you know, six things of broth. And then a couple of things of um, pilaf if I want it. So I'm going to set you up and we'll start going with this. First thing I'm going to put in there is this. These pieces of meat, a couple of tenderloins, yeehaw. Next thing I'll put in is the corned beef that I already pre-cooked. I did that in a crock pot. That's going in. It takes a little while to cook that meat, so. Then there's all this. this thing's pretty heavy. Cerise and... 
Italian sausage stuck, mama. Yeehaw, man. Yeehaw. I'm gonna get some stuff in there and get that cooking for a while. Can you guys even see that? I'm gonna put the tomatoes in there. The beef stock. the meat for a while before I throw anything else in there. Four. I want to cook that for a while because that meat's got to really kind of cook down the bottom down there. Five. And get that going. Pepper. Probably don't need no salt because of the um, the corned beef that I had in there. Corned beef is kind of salty. Probably not gonna need no salt. Tying seasoning. We'll, we'll cover that and let that cook for a while and I'll get back to you all right guys it's been about an hour and a half I've got the meat in there I don't know if you can see it or not but I took one of the slabs out that pork loin and I cut it up with the scissors and I'm gonna throw it back in I gotta get the other one out cut it up because um, it's just taking longer to cook when it's all one piece I'll show you. I'm gonna throw this meat in there, and then I'll grab the other one, and I'll give you, I'll give you a shot what it looks like. All right, you can see it just needs to be all cut up. I'm just gonna cut it up with the scissors, and cut it up onto all smaller pieces. Uh, it just makes it easier to cook and easier all around. I'll cut it up like that with the scissors. All into small pieces. And I'll throw it back in the chooch. Instead of leaving it all one piece, we'll cut it all up into it's all gonna be cut up into the stew or whatever you want to call it. Alright guys, I got the other piece all cut up. Throw it back in there and give it the old how you doing my Yo, how you doing, mama? Yeah, man, dear. Yeah. Let that cook a little bit longer, then we'll start throwing the other stuff in. Can throw the carrots in now. Harmony. This stuff's gonna take a while to cook anyway, so we'll bring this up for to a chooch. Let that cook. Put in the uh, cauliflower. Broccoli. Green beans. Celery. Green pepper. Onions.
mushrooms. Oh man, I want a roll. I'm gonna have to add a little water here to this, mama. Oh man, looking some good there. the broccoli rob and the uh, red cabbage another thing of water yeah and I got the uh, the rice peel off let's let's cook this for a while let this cook for a while I want to throw the broccoli rob in there because it's got like little. These are going to take a little while to cook, so we'll throw that in there too. I'm just going to let it chooch. All I got left to throw in there the cabbage. The red cabbage, might as well throw it in. shitting in this cooking. Got the red potatoes too going in. I got a couple of things of marinara I want to put in there. Thicken it up a little bit. for a while and we could throw some rice in there if we want we need a rice peel off. I'm just gonna cook this for a while. Let this come up to a boil and cook it for a while. Could always throw the rice peel off in there after, right? Put the meat in at 7.30. It's 9.30 now. The rest of the stuff went in. Everything but the rice. Thing left would be the rice if I want to throw that in at the end. All right, I got a couple of uh, boxes of rice peel off. I can throw that in at the end if I want to thicken it up some more. 
I got some more water here if I have to add it. Yeah, last thing to put on is a couple of boxes of rice peel off. I'll throw them in there. I'm gonna have to bring this up to a boil and cook it for a while yet, but two packets of seasoning. Mix it up and Give it the old choo-choo, mama. Let it cook. Let it cook. Let it cook for another couple hours. Smell the goodness, Ma. Smell the goodness. done. The carrots, I checked the carrots, they're nice and soft. Uh, I've been stirring it right along, but... Yeehaw! Look at that stuff. Gonna let it cool now if I plate it, put it in containers, but... Smell the goodness, Mama. Smell the goodness. So 7.30, I put the meat in, I cooked it for a couple hours, and I dropped the vegetables in, the rice peel off, then I cooked it for another couple hours, Seven thirty, eight thirty, nine thirty, ten thirty, eleven thirty, four hours, I'll let it, I'm just going to let this cool, and I'm going to put it all in containers and freeze it for future meals. Alright guys, I got what, 26 meals there? I thought I had already had a bowl, so that's good. Put all that in the free put all that in my deep freezer downstairs, real good stuff. Uh, this is some of the best food I've ever eaten. That marinara really kinda kicked it up quite a bit. That marinara sauce. Yummy. You want a bowl, Miss Molly? Yeah, you love that he's cooking. You love daddy's cooking. Oh, I know you do. You want some? You want a bowl? You want some of my cooking? Yeah, you love this. You love this soup, Miss Molly. Yeah. You want some? <laughs>